Today is a good day because I just got in my brand new Banex 1000 electric grill. Boom, there it is. Ooh. It's beautiful. Two roses for the box. Packaged up, so let's check this thing out. We got, this is from Frigate Sales. Nice and packaged. And all this styrofoam. So I did get it with the yellow high vis. I was actually super skeptical because it was either a blue or a high vis, but uh, I was reading a lot that it doesn't make a difference. Um, you know, the line, whether it's high vis or if you just go with, you know, like a typical blue or something that's more camouflage, but um, I didn't want to go with that. I uh, just went with a high vis so I could see it in the, in the water. And then I got, comes with all the hardware. And then you have your adapter in here too. Um, and then this wiring actually has once you get it out of the bag, this has your plug-in. It says you're plugging on one side. And then you can hook this thing up to a battery or if your boat has an outlet, um, you'll be able to cut these uh, and hook them up, which I'm gonna actually show you uh, in this video and probably in another too, at how to splice these uh, and we'll, we'll put these on uh, an actual plug so we can use on the boat. So this is the Banex 1000. Uh, I went with this reel, like I said, because of the reviews, uh, but I also went with it because of the specs that it had. So this is 45 pounds uh, torque. Uh, in this reel, it's a beast um, for what you're gonna get for your money. Honestly, uh, cost-wise, you could spend huge, huge, amount, huge amounts of money on the LPs, uh, all these bigger brands, but I'm just getting right into deep dropping. So I think this is the best option. Comes around 750 bucks pre-spooled through deepdropper.com. You can't beat that. Uh, it doesn't have a, I didn't have need a rod with it because I already have um, a 50 wides on some heavier duty rods. So, but if you could pick up another rod for probably 150 bucks, but this thing, like I said, is a beast. You got 45 pounds uh, of torque, I believe it's 160 feet per minute. Their meters per minute of a retrieve rate, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and then on top of it, you're gonna be able to put at least 65, so this is a 65 pound braid. It can put over a thousand yards of 65 pound braid on here. I just went with 65 because most of the stuff that I'm gonna be looking for, you know, your rosies, your towelfish, uh, some grouper, and that's gonna be able to pull all this stuff up. Uh, it would be nice to grab a swordfish uh, every once in a while if I could, but primarily that's what I'm gonna be deep dropping for. Uh, but I think this thing would be able to handle a swordfish. So. We'll give this thing a go, check it out. Let's get it on the rod, let's get it set up, um, and we're good to go. I'm gonna hook this up on the back side of my rod, uh, but you're gonna make sure this thing, put these screws in first. Um, if not, you can't get them on and around the actual butt of, the, of your rod. So it comes with all the tools and the tightening tools that you need. You're gonna get the thing tightened on. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hand tighten it as much as I can, you know, down to there. And then really just, I have my rod. This is a Winthrop butt that I had for my 50 wide. So we'll try this one out. Um, should make it a little bit easier for me. So slide this thing in. And slide the butt on. And then once, kind of lock these up where they need to be from a fit standpoint. Once I know that these things are gonna fit with the rod at where it's at, fit these on there, we're good there. So you just wanna make sure they're lined up and then I'm gonna take this off, take the rod off here again. And just tighten these babies up. So now we're tight. Let's 
slide this pressure back on. Good there. We are tight. Now they're all lined up. I like to take, some people may say no, but this is just what I like to do because I've lost enough bolts and screws. I'll take a little bit. This is removable Loctite. So make sure it's removable, not permanent. It's removable Loctite. And I'm just gonna put a little bit down in there, just like that. It's a little bit in there. Um, because the vibrations from the boat a lot of times will make these screws, make the screws come out. And the next thing you know, your reel's in the water. So I like to do that. Um, and then I'll just fit this back on here. And then we're gonna screw those right back into place where you fit them. And then you can use that tool or it's a little bit easier if you just grab a screwdriver. I just like to make sure that they're evenly, evenly screwed in. So don't screw one in all the way, screw one halfway, right? Go the other round, screw that one in, right? And you're gonna work your way back, back and forth until this thing has gotten super tight on you. Um, and you're, you're pretty much as tight as you're gonna get on this rod because you don't wanna lose your reel here. Right, work my way on each side. It's getting tight now. Do your best not to strip it out. Okay, and then on these Winthrops, I'm just screw this thing back down in and then we're good to go. All right, so we are all set up with our Band X 1000, a $700 way to get yourself into the deep drop game. Uh, this is my first time ever deep dropping, so we'll see how hard it is, um, how hard it is to find some spots, um, hook up, bring some fish home. but. You know, either way, it's 700 bucks. Uh, I didn't want to jump into one of those LPs or something big time, but I didn't enjoy it or I wasn't having fun with this or wasn't even using it. But, you know, for a $700 hook setup, um, I had 750 with the line. You can't really beat it. I already had the rod, so made it a little bit easier for me so I didn't have to spend the money on the rod and this setup as well. But, you know, now we got our Band X 1000 all hooked up. We got it on our bent butt rod. Um, we're ready to go. All right, guys, so we just got it all set up. Now it's time for the test run um, on the dock before we leave on the boat. So I got all set up here on my bend butt. Um, then I have a three, this is a three pound weight. Put that thing up to there. And we are gonna jump in the boat and see. I'm gonna see if she works. All right. Oh, this is exciting. Let's go. Oops. Let's do this. Man, new fish and stuff is always, always, always exciting. So that stinks awful. Oh, God. What is in there? Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. All right. All right, so here's my plug. Let's get this thing all plugged in here. So hookups on the backhand side. So let's get this shit plugged in. All right. Good to go there. And let's test her out. Make sure I didn't screw this one up. Let's go. All right, we got our Banax 1000. We're ready to do some fishing. Ha 
Let's go. I lost my rig, but I didn't. Woo, look at the size of those things. Look at that thing. Woo. That is beautiful. Two roses for the box. The rig snap. But we got ourselves some things. 